What's up YouTube? Gonna do a tour of my Snap-on Classic Series Big Blue 54 inch box. Up top I keep my welding hood, detour sign, snappy hat, a couple water bottles, some tape, some brackets from, left over from today's project for a hydro assist. It's a regular steam stabilizer, phone charger. I'm going to try to go through this fairly quickly so it doesn't bore you. Uh, top drawer, just kind of some junk. Uh, Pistola, snap-on book, snap-on adapter set for the big truck, snap-on ball joint press, snap-on 3.8 torque wrench, and the case for my half-inch cobalt torque wrench. Next drawer down is my wrench and what's left of my sockets. Uh, 12 point Craftsman made in the US. Some old guys. Uh, Honda crankshaft bolt tool. Makita impact sockets and standard. Uh, Matco adapter set. The one that's missing is in my car. Some stubby Torx. Got the Jumbo Tecton impact sockets for like axle nuts and all that. Got my snap-on wobble quarter inch extensions. Now these come in great if you're taking off the exhaust from the headers on Jeep Wranglers if you need to drop it for like the rear main seal. These give you just enough angle to get up there and get those four bolts. They are a lifesaver. I bought them for a different job and never used them, but used them for those, so still worth the money. Uh, standard Craftsman wrenches, got some cheap Pittsburgh American size wrenches, flex head ratcheting, teched in line wrenches, just utter crap. I wouldn't waste your money. They're drop forged in China. Save yourself a buck. Go with a different brand. If you can, if you do a lot of work, go with Snap-on. They're good. Uh, the jumbo wrenches in metric, this goes up to 27, it's teched in, I know it's upside down. Uh, Craftsman, here's my jumbo wrench set from Gear Wrench that goes all the way up to 25, 24, and 23. Teched in stubbies, now these were worth the money, they're like 22 bucks, 25. Definitely pick up a set, if I could do it again I'd probably do the flex head ratcheting stubbies. I might try the Gear Wrench ones. This just junk drawer, paperwork, receipts. This is hammer drawer. Got the three pound goofy orange hammer for Harbor Freight. Plastic and rubber mallet. Eight ounce ball cane. Got some body men tools. Here's just a bunch of leftover spray paint from projects and greasers and degreasers and all that. Some paper kents. Got my plier drawer, got uh, some strong hand clamps up there, a lot of vice grip clamps. Uh, we got some cheap snap ring pliers from Craftsman. These I picked up quite a few years ago. I had to file down the head a little bit to fit the Factor 55 hooks. But for the 12 bucks, they work. Not going out and buying a whole snap on set just quite yet. Got some MIG welding pliers. Uh, some spring clamps, some tin snips, my snap-on long dykes. Just picked these up hoping I could get a little bit more leverage on the stubborn cotter pins, holding in some steering components on the Jeeps and other vehicles. They were on sale, so I figured why not. Uh, this is an airline cutting tool to cut the airlines for the back of trucks, for the airbags. This is a wire loom tool. Saves a whole bunch of time when you have a wiring harness you got a loom. Uh, Allen drawer, pry bar drawer, kind of anything with a handle. Uh, got a big Craftsman pry bar. Scraper, cut it down, be shorter. Uh, heel bar, got some Elkin made in the USA, ball ended. Allen's got some Bondus 
T-handle Allen actually just broke one of these. The ball end snapped off. I think it was this one. Yeah. It's not going to focus, but I'm going to try to warranty it through snap-on. We'll see. Uh, just miscellaneous screwdrivers, my mini screwdriver set, some plastic trim tools, my screwdriver kind of case set, and the one screwdriver that doesn't fit in my cart because it's almost too big. Fab drawer, got a bunch of squares, comedy squares, picks, angle finder, degree finders, uh, soapstone, soapstone markers, bevel, uh, punches, and chisels, and got this little guy I made it. I call it my pencil punch. Looks like a little pencil. Got my stainless steel dowel. This is to knock really hard, long objects out. Made this one out of stainless, a little bit stronger. Got a few files, some mini files, some picks. These actually came from my fiance. My first birthday with her, she picked them up for me, so pretty cool. Uh, degree finder, some mini magnets, rebar wire. Ooh, these are the jumbo drill bit set from Harbor Freight. Awesome, for 35 bucks, you can't beat it. I'd highly recommend it. Okay, power drawer, uh, corded drill. Battery operated drill, got a sawzall, got some drill bits, some left handed drill bits. I think these are just all drill bits in there. Now these, if you're looking to save a buck, they're 50 bucks. A lot better than the 150 from Snap-on, but they are the burr set, the carbide burr set. 50 bucks, comes in a nice case. You actually get more of them than when you would off a truck. And they work pretty dang well. And you could get extended ones and all that. They all range for about 50 bucks off Eastwood. Uh, air tools, got a Milton blower, Blue Point, Matco air hammer, Matco air hammer bits. This guy cost me like five bucks from Harbor Freight way back in the day and I bought it just for one job. And it still works and I took it to work and Still killing it, so can't knock on Harbor Freight too bad for that tool. For five bucks, I've got my money out of it. Little turkey baster. This is a Mac tool. It's exhaust hanger pliers. Um, it's a little bent. It does get bent. This is, the rivets are kind of getting loose. I'm hoping it's under warranty. I don't know. But there's part number if you're looking for it. But it's a lifesaver when you're changing out exhausts. I know those new rubber hangers are just a pain to deal with. And last drawer, it's kind of junk drawer. Got a huge ratchet strap. Got my grinder, sander, uh, bearing press. Got some punches, some number punches. A little tool I made to hold the lettering punches so I don't smack my hand on them. Uh, just my leathers for welding, welding cap, welding gloves. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Tell me why. Tell me if you want me to do an in-depth tour or detailed review of any tools you see. Anyways, have a good one.